Okay, we're back. And the first thing I'm going to do is paint the canvas because I know that it flows better if I do that. And of course, you don't have to worry about the um, the sides if you paint it on forehand. Then just how it rolls over the canvas, it'll be perfect. So let me get a little bit more. I had a, a long time, I took a long time to uh, clean the studio because it was time to do that. So I have my whole table nice and clean. So I might just be doing this one today and then doing a whole series tomorrow because uh, depending on how this uh, uh, pans out, I have this uh, different idea about uh, pouring it. I'll tell you about it in a bit. Let's just do that. I see a little hair in here. We don't want that in there. Okay, that's the uh, front. And of course we want to do the corners and the sides. That's that. That's that side. That goes pretty quick. So what I was thinking is before I pour the uh, feathers, I'm going to pour a an, another background. So we, first we have this background. Then I'm going to pour a turquoise right smack in the middle here. I'm going to let it flatten out a little bit. And then I'm going to do the feather pour on top. So that's going to be really, really interesting, I think. Okay. Yep, caught it all. Everything is nicely covered. Maybe a little bit more here because I do see a little... It has to be nice and smooth. I'll be adding more paint so it's not such a big problem, but I do want it to flow properly. Okay. I think I'm done now. Let me take the colors, put them on the side. And then put this up here a little bit. Okay. So what we're going to do is get one of the colors I have in the base color and I'm going to pour this on. So smack here in the middle. A little bit more. I think that's enough. And then I'm going to pour on top of this. So I'm hoping, not sure how it's going to pan out, hoping that it's going to push and it's going to show a line right around that feather pour. We, we don't know for sure, but we're going to try it. So uh, what I'm pouring with is uh, Windsor & Newton. And like I said last time, uh, the paint is on the thin side. It has to be. And um, there's no silicone in it. None, none whatsoever. Putting in a little bit of yellow. But I am going to layer it. As you can see down here, I'm going to layer them a lot. And maybe not. Who knows? Uh, more of the beige. There we go. Then we're going to come in with the turquoise. A lot of turquoise. And of course the dark brown. This is a really dark brown as you can see. I made it with um, the Winsor & Newton uh, dark purple and orange. I put those two together and that's what you get. This one again. Turquoise again, because I want the turquoise really to come out. And as you can see here, it's lining up a lot. There's a lot of uh, colors. And I'll do one more with the uh, 
with the burnt umber. I think we're ready. I do want to end it with uh, this color though. That's it. Okay. Now I'm taking this one pretty serious, so I'm putting all my cups away so I have enough room to move about without knocking anything over. There it is. So at the moment, this paint has leveled out. But I also just want to make sure that all the little air bubbles are out. Because you don't want that popping through. Uh, I'd rather not. Maybe I maybe maybe it'll look good. I don't know. We'll see. Okie dokie. Now I'm thinking about pouring, starting smack in the middle here, go, letting it go down, turning it around, doing the same. But I'm not sure. But I think I will. Yeah. Let's do that. Oh, that's not lining up nicely. I see. I need another color. I think I have to swirl it a little bit. No, I didn't swirl it last time and that went perfectly. Okay, let's do this. I have to see what the middle is about here. Uh-oh. That went uh, the wrong way. Ah! Did you see the drop in the middle there? Okay. Nah, it's not working like I thought it would work. We'll see what happens. Oops, gotta get rid of that. <laughs> Okay, let's move it. Oh, I'm so sad that that didn't work. That the uh, that the paint didn't just push it, so I have this whole nice little thing around it. But we can fix that. Only there's a lot of paint on the uh, on the canvas. A lot. I think I will have to tilt it because otherwise I'm I'm afraid I'm going to get a lot of cracking. There we go. Now I have to get rid of that little thing there. It is fill in the hole a little bit. Okay, that's right. Now we have to do uh, another. We're going to push the paint under and then I'm going to tilt. So here we go. Okey-dokey, pushing it down that way, pushing it back, and I do like what happened in the middle, but I think 
I do like the other one better where there's a little less um, where there's a little less uh, colors involved I think that is prettier I'm gonna push it down here and just let it go see that way the pattern really explodes I sort of like that But maybe we'll do this and let this um, become something different. I do like that. So we can just push this this under. Go straight over. Then I'm going to let it come down. And we're going to do the same with this side. There it goes, straight over. Yeah, and now I have to come back in to do this because I, I love this, but not having it on this side isn't that interesting. So I'm going to push this under here somehow and have a little bit of a corner going on. There it goes. And pulling it back a little. See what I mean? Then, then it sort of fits, and down here also. Otherwise, I think it would be a little bit not interesting. There it goes. So now we have a sort of a balance. Otherwise, we'd only have it there and not here. So, I think this worked out fine. Now, am I happy with the pour? Not really. <laughs> Sorry, I, I sometimes I just do something and I think, ooh, that would be a good idea. And then when I see it, I think, mm, not really. But I am going to do something to it. Just one, just to see it. See, I like the whole thing, only I don't like these jaggedy jaggedy things here so I thought if I could smooth them out just a little like I'm doing now they would be more interesting there it goes that's interesting and of course we're gonna be popping uh, the uh, the really pretty glitter stuff we're going to be popping that on all these little toes or feathers or whatever you want to call them just to bring them out a little bit and I'm not too fond of that color these colors I can live with this I can live with up here I like this I like not much of the turquoise showing but I do like um, what is showing so that's okay although I don't like this little spot here Let's work on that a little bit. There it goes. And here. And here's one that popped up. So um, I'm going to put this away for a bit. And then uh, if I have those little pinholes, I will be working on it for a little bit. But other than that, I think, uh, well, I can live with it. It's just not that I'm thinking, ooh, wow, that's the one I want on my, on my wall. No. But we're spoiled, right? because we do so many of these there's not much I would hang on my wall because I, I always think the next one is going to be better and the next one's going to be better so okay let me put this away I'm going to do um, I still have some paints in the cup I want to do one on paper they always work out better don't you think so let me put this away see there's a lot of drips on the uh, on the table but what I'd like is just to ew, that makes a really strange noise let's see what happens when we do this oh that is pretty sometimes I just love what the paint does 
but we're gonna do a little pour on top of it of course I have to lift it up a little bit okay oops now this is pretty but like I did last time I want to widen it up there it goes look at that that is pretty I think it's pretty because of the uh, muted background and then this thing pops right off that is really awesome I'm gonna uh, I have to work on this so that I can frame it so if you're if you have this paper and, and also this can be Yupo but at, at the moment I'm still using um, the uh, Kodak Extra Life um, because I, I still got a lot of it but eventually I'll run out and you can't buy this stuff normally in the shop so we'll see but I'm trying to get that pattern moving okay I'm going to flip it up and pour it off and hope that it'll make nice patterns. Yeah, it is. Okay, that's okay. Because I really want this bit here and that's okay, I can live with that. But I can't live with that, of course. And now we have a problem. Well, nah. I'm thinking, you know, just let's pour more of the pattern on, but that won't work. So what you really want is this paint. Oh, yes, that's what I want. This. That's what I want. Push it up and pull it back. Okay, I think I can live with that. Just a little bit. Let it run a little bit. Oh, now my little pattern is running also. Don't run pattern. Uh -oh. I'm having a little trouble. Because even though, let me clean my glove a little bit because I just painted my l little thingy. That would look really pretty. But I'm not satisfied. Let's see here. Because I want the background not to be too um, awkward. Now I have nice lines like here, but there I didn't. So I'll have to do this to the whole background. Or just make a new one. We could do that too. And I'm guessing someone saying, what happened to your airbrush? Well, it's there, but sometimes this is just easier. Okay, we'll just let this one dry. And for the next one, see, even I learn stuff all the time. So I'm going to make sure that the next one has a nice background. clean my glove on my towel that's not so good but we'll figure it out okay get the little toothpicks yeah this I'll have to uh, clean out in my bucket That's it. Okay, let's spread this out.
See, when you're doing one color, it's not such a big deal. You can always add something to it later if you have to. But when you're doing patterns in the background, not so much. Okie dokie. A little bit up there, a little bit down there. Okay. Now I'm going to hold it and we're going to do the last one. That's kind of pretty. I'm going to keep it a little bit in the middle and let it come down a little there and then spread it out. And maybe up here a little bit more and spread it out. And now I dinked around too much with it. Although it still is, yep, I think it still is pretty. Let's frame it. Oh yeah, that's it. Just imagine this one a little bigger because I am going to go bigger so we get the whole, whole thing. I have to fill it in here a little bit because I can see the uh, white. That'll flatten out. I can help it a little bit. There it is. And down here maybe. Yep, I like it. Let's just keep that one just as it is here. Oops. Oops, I went straight through it. Where? Why did you do that? Okay, can't see it anymore. There it is. Getting you in really close. Those are nice colors. Okie dokie. One more. I think I have one more. We will have one more. These bottles are really... Uh, oops. What happened to the color? There it goes. These bottles are really... Uh, handy because you can pre-mix your paints uh, if you have one of those squeeze bottle top things that's really uh, handy when you want to uh, do some under the paint pushing of the other the background color that works pretty fine so I'm not gonna put the whole thing under we'll see what happens well maybe the sides because I do want to do 14 by 14. That's what I figured out I could do with one of these. I could even go bigger. Why don't I just make a really big one? Well, no. I could just as well do that on a canvas, I guess. This is like icing a cake. I love that. Oops. Okay. Oh no, just hold it. We're going to do the next one. Okay, here we go. I'm going to let this one come straight down. And maybe go around a little bit. There it is. Ew. See, I, d I want it to spread out like that. Yeah, that's better. Yep, but only bigger because we're going to be seeing these these bits here. Maybe not in that one, but we're going to be seeing that. Wait a minute. Okay, I thought I'd just make a frame so that you can see how big I, I'm going to make it. It's going to be like this. So maybe I'll just do it like that. Have a little bit more background color. And having one of these paper uh, frames is handy because now I see that I need to fill this. See if I were to do that, but that's not so nice. I like this better. 
but then I have to fill in this bit. So that's always, uh, it always comes in handy to have one of these frames. Make it nice and smooth. Maybe down here too. That would help. Okay. That's going to really dry uh, flat. Like I've showed you before, it always dries flat. And um, I don't know why that is, that sometimes people have those bumps in them. I think it's more about the uh, mixing of the uh, paint than really the pouring. Oh, there we go again. I'll have to fill that in again. Okay. But this is kind of pretty. So I think I'm going to leave it just as is and uh, do nothing more to it. Of course I'm going to add that glitter stuff because I think that really um, fits with this kind of pour. Uh, I wouldn't even want one without the nice little dots of glitter in them and I really enjoy putting it on so I guess that is a win-win. Maybe just get rid of these little thingamajingies. Okay, that's it. Okay hey guys, love you all to pieces. See you in the next one. Laters. Okay, just in case this uh, turns out to be a nice one. I'm not sure, of course, but who knows. Just in case this turns out to be cute. I'm going to do this with the uh, dirty brush. It might just give us something pretty. Yeah, it's kind of nice. It's just a little bit of beige in there it's nice okay now we're gonna pick it up and do the pouring this time we're gonna pour differently let's see what we can do It's kind of funny. It's like a little little worm. But maybe we'll just push it together and see what it does. Ooh, look at that. That is that is kind of funny. That is kind of cute. Just one more. Push it all together. Make it come down a little. There it goes. Oh, that is really pretty. But I'd like that in the middle. I like that bit in the middle, so we're going to give that some room. And let it come down. That's it. That is gorgeous. Well, let's see how we can frame that. That is really so interesting. I don't know how to explain it, but I think it is gorgeous. That is really fun. Yeah, I think I do it like that. Or maybe there, nah, this, I do that. That is awesome. I would do this though, just a little bit to bring it here together. Let that one come up. Let that one come up. Okay, guys. <laughs> I'll, I'll stick this behind the other one. Because I think it's uh, pretty enough to show you guys. Sometimes I just do that because I want to. I don't want to waste the paint. And just save them, you know, for whatever. But this one, I think I'll... Uh, we're going to frame this one. Okay. Love you all to pieces. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.